folks. So I'll be commentating this race. My name is Sean Fiddler from the USA. All right, here we are for, I think this is 19C, and uh, I'm being asked to commentate on this microphone and talk about the race. So we'll do that. They're in the sequence. They're not in the sequence yet. So here's here's the competitors for C: Martin Bowers, Dorian. Okay. There's the black flag in case we need it. There's the black flag in case we need it. All right. Upwind, it's very shifty. It's light up along the starboard shore. Big puff lays down there just to the right of the weather gate, and it's light up to left right now. With I think most of the pressure is up the right middle, as you might be able to see. 61's early, going back. Looks like a little bit of a pin favor here, but you'd be you'd be forced up against the wall so quickly. That may not work out, so the fleet is staying mostly up to the windward side. Crack, cracker of a start there for 199 and 214. Seven, nice lured start. Three, six, eight, three. We're touching. Okay, good start. First shot, nice job. The right is really suffering, and seven is just flying down here in the pressure, but unfortunately, so is his middle pack. He's got to find a spot to get across. Some starting to crack away here. Golf, the red sails is in a good position, so is David from New Zealand in the uh, yeah, bright yellow boat there, just to windward of the purple boat. Seven's tacking out, the right is not looking so good, out of the breeze, the breeze shaft is just right down the middle here. David is continuing to gain in his nice center position there, he started up near the boat. Hasn't tacked, there he goes, perfect time, getting over to that new right puff that continues to set down just to the right of the weather mark. Solid lead. Twenty-three is on the lay line there. Big lead, huge lead. Real light up there for two three. Hope he doesn't hit the mark. He makes it. So very light up at the weather mark. You can see this massive breeze on the starboard tack lay line. And 23 is completely becalmed, just going over to, over to the offset mark. It's very difficult conditions. Going to create a huge clump here. And 23 hasn't had a gust in his sails for 30 seconds. Hit a huge lead, and now 199 coming down this inside puff is gaining, and 23 is just sitting there in a hole. 
It's ridiculous. Shameful. Shameful. For, fortune and circumstance there. He finally gets his puff. Sure, his blood was boiling. And uh, off, off we go. Look at that. Look at that raft. Turn down to the one. And here we go off down the run. In second. And uh, just a huge cluster around the weather mark that I'm happy I wasn't involved in. So this lead group has caught a little shot and extending nicely. Yeah, there they called it. They called the race. Not surprised. Not surprised. That was what the commentator was saying as he watched 23 sit in a hole for 30 seconds. Right. Yeah. That's a shame. Did you see why? Yeah. Oh, it, uh, at the windward mark, there was uh, no wind, and uh, 23 was in the lead by about 30 meters. Yes. It sat in a hole in between the weather mark and the offset. The whole crud yeah, I saw that. Is that why they abandoned it? I don't know. I don't know the specific rule. He, he just got unlucky. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what criteria it is. I just know that it was definitely a little foolier for a spot to cross. Yeah. Usually they only blow it off if you can lay it in one time. Yeah, and they put okay. it in the uh, yeah, race. Speed. Speed. That's that, good. That you, they can do that. And it will happen. But uh, I don't, nobody can do that. Go again. I'm going to take this moment and go get my stuff. I'll be right back.
Okay. 